Hey guys, what's up? It's Anasian2010 here. Today we're gonna play some Civ 5. Let's get started. Alright, we're gonna be playing Rome. Uh, Rome is definitely one of my... I think it is my favorite. It's definitely my favorite uh, sub to play with, just because of its unique ability. Which you can see is 25% production increase towards any building that's already built in the capital. So, what you really want to do, I'm going to just show you all the settings real quick. So it's just going to be me, three other people as you can see, eight other city states, you know, it's kind of the standard. Uh, map size, tiny, we're going to do on normal difficulty, quick pace, and just to make it even quicker, a legendary start, this should be pretty interesting. Alright, start game. Now, with Rome, like I was trying to say before earlier, what you really want to do is get a lot of cities because you want to be able to use your unique ability as much as possible. I find between three to five is the sweet spot, so about four is probably the best amount. Right off the bat, you can see we have a really good spot. We've got some stone, cattle, and deer, and even some uh, marble and fur, so we're going to settle right there. That's a great spot. Send our worker to explore a bit. Right, we're going to make a worker so we can start working on all these as fast as possible. And we're going to take pottery so we can rush that granary, which is really good since we have deer. I think cattle also. No, it's just. Alright. Deer's the only one that's going to be affected by the granary, but still, granary is one of the best things to get early on. So now we're just looking for some runes. We find some dye, so this might be a good spot for a second city if I need to expand. Alright, just continue to check out what else is here. Alright. Culture. Culture is, I think, the best thing you can possibly get, so this is a really good start. So we see there's some gems down here, but I'm gonna explore up left. Now, I'm not really sure what victory I'm going to go for. It's probably going to be science or culture. But I'm going to start with tradition, just for the fact that it gives you um, that growth boost and the added culture in your capital. So, it's a pretty good start, uh, starting policy to get. Alright, now that we have pottery done, we have a choice of getting uh, the cattle or the stone. Um... I want to say we're going to go for the mining, so we can harvest the uh, marble later on. Got some gems over here too, so that's pretty lucky. Alright, so that's the coast. It's not bad. So now we're going to make the granary and we're going to send our people off to let's see where can I make something. Trapping. Shoot, I probably should have got trapping. Um, let's get animal husbandry. For now, we'll make a farm. And we're going to take legalism because it provides a free culture building in your first four cities, so that gives you a huge boost in culture early on. Especially if you want to go for the culture of victory, that's one of the best things you can get. Now, I'm not sure if barbs can take runes or not. They're clearly on them, I guess they can. Just learn something new every day. I think I might have to fight them to get it, actually might not be a good idea because they have the hill advantage or the terrain advantage. Alright, so we're just going to fortify up because I don't want to fight them if I'm low health on their uh, hill. That's kind of a bitch though. God damn.
The reason I'm not healing is exactly for this reason. I don't want to fight them on their hill, and now I'm taking them down, and I can take the resource. Population. Well, he's probably going to die, but it was definitely worth it. Animal husbandry is up, so... I'll work on that, and then take on... Masonry. Just to get that marble, because marble's really good. It gives you four gold and happiness, I believe. Yeah. No, two gold and four happiness. Damn. Well, I didn't really expect him to live. It's fine. I'm just going to keep on harassing these barbs, because I have no way to attack them other than with my city. And do I have trapping? No, I don't. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to keep my citizens in there. It's the best thing to do. Um, Either landed elite or monarchy is pretty good. My happiness is pretty low, and I want my gold to be better, so... And I got the extra citizen, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with monarchy. Increases my happiness by 3 and my gold income by 2 per turn. So that's a good choice. Continue to harass. I might as well start masonry, or at least going on the way, because it's going to finish next turn. There we go. Now, I really want to get these gems over here, and these dyes over here too. But the gems are a little bit better with the three gold instead of two, so I think I'm going to go for them. Make my first settler. When you're making settlers, always remember to put it on production focus, because you can't get anything anyways. You can't um, see the growth is stopped when you're making a settler, so might as well put it on production. And he's going to be doing that for a while, so I'm going to make writing so I can start building the library. Now we're going to get trapping because we want to get the bonus for the uh, the granary with the deer, so. And we want to get the happiness and gold increase from the fur. So, chop down forest. Be trapping. Shoot. We'll finish this first. And start our library. I'm going to settle this on top of the gems, so that way I get it automatically. Look at that. Automatically, I don't even have to put any work onto it, it's super close to Rome. Here we go, greenery. Now, since I have my second city, I'm going to make the wheel, so... I can connect these two with the roads, which will increase my gold, bleh, increase my gold by even further.
land of elite because I'm not making a wonder and I don't have a warrior, so it's the only one really to go for. Now I have seven happiness, so I can even go for a third city if I so so desire right now. I'm going to increase my uh, happiness even more with the fur first, and then I'll go for the third city. So this is a pretty rapid expansion. At third, turn 31, I'm already thinking about my third city. It's very fast. Not sure if I'm going to get the Great Library. Huh. You go for a settler. Choose philosophy so I can start getting the oracle, which is a really good item for anything really. Any uh, victory that you want to go for, the oracle is a really good item, or wonder really. Now I'm just going to pull my citizens away, I don't want them to be killed. Kings. Their honor comes from Zeus, and Zeus, god of counsel, loves them. Welcome to the Classical Era. So I'm going to stop this video now. Um, I guess I'm going to be doing this in segments of a uh, new era. So every time I get to a new era, I guess I'll, that'll be the end of the video. So I'm going to stop it now. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next video.